Hello, good people. My name is Gina Ifoe. I am the one and only African superstar. I want to give a special shout out to all of my viewers and all of my supporters. Today, I want to talk about only insecurity is afraid of confidence. Be one for life. I was recently made aware um, through one of my viewers um that there's some nameless, faceless person out there that's making videos about me. And so I just wanted to take this opportunity just to kind of, um, you know, first of all, address that. And then second of all, talk about my subject matter. So first of all, when it comes to uh, people that are out there on social media that may have taken a stand against me, um, have strong feelings about me or whatever, that is their prerogative. Um, my whole take on cyber interactions is I don't choose to give any power or any energy to these type of things. Um, I didn't even watch the videos, you know, that were sent to me. Um, I reckon that if someone doesn't even have the courage to show their face or who they are, um, that they really don't require any of my attention. <laughs> I mean, there's really no comparison or no... Um, comparison or any connection to either of us. You can have your platform and I will continue uh, to maintain mine and maintain my audience. And on to the subject matter, which is only insecurity is afraid of confidence. People that lack confidence, people that are insecure, um, they are highly offended by people that have confidence, that people that have ambition, that people that go out for the best quality of their life. There are some people that are in the West right now that uh, live mediocre lives. And instead of them seeking greener pastures or instead of them um, evaluating other options or whatnot, they choose to remain in those situations. To those people... I wish you well. There are other of us that have confidence and we do not, uh, we will not continue to tolerate that type of treatment. We rather go out on the frontier in the motherland. We rather explore. We rather reconnect to um, our lost heritage than continue to be somebody's bitch in the West. Um, I don't know why these people are so offended by what we choose to do. You know, what we choose to do is our own life and our own choice. And it has no bearing on what people that choose to stay where they are, you know. But once again, like I said, insecurity is offended by confidence. Because confidence says, look, these, this, this is not my standard. You know, this is not up to par. Um, and the insecure person doesn't believe they deserve anything. They don't think um, that they should have better. They're more or less, you know, um, just ready to take whatever is given to them. The confident person says, uh, this isn't up to par. I'd rather just take my chances and go look for other greener pastures. So I'm always going to be black first. Uh, I'm totally African centered. I'm totally pan-African. I'm totally pro-black. I believe in my people. If that promotes them not being underfoot in the West, then so be it. If other people that are in America or across Europe have issues with it, that is their problem. Will they get an audience with me? No. What do I look like? <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to be funny, but when I actually went to the person's channel, I looked at the channel. The person has a couple hundred subscribers. The person doesn't even show their face on the camera. I thought to myself, why exactly would I reduce myself down to that? You know, why exactly would I even go there? You know, I have the courage to come here and show my face and show details and my, my whole, you know, process. I'm actually traveling to the motherland. I actually have a business in the motherland. What would, what, what would merit me reducing myself down to that level to go there with some faceless individual? And so my word to you guys in closing is that, um, this whole cyber thing, it, it can get really stupid sometimes, but I really encourage you guys to take your power back and not give it to, to not give it to senseless people. You know, you're always going to have people that don't agree with you. 
You're always going to have contentious people. You're always going to have insecure people. You're always going to have people that love drama and, sh and set out to cause division. I'm not about division, you know, even to the people that don't like me or disagree with me. That is your prerogative. That's fine. Because nine times out of 10, I probably don't share the same ideology that you do anyway. And if you don't like me, I probably more than likely don't like you either. So what we both can do is focus on what we're doing and not focus on each other. Why should your, why should my name be in your mouth? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because actually, I would say, I don't call people out on this platform, right? I never drop names. I never do diss tracks and stuff like that. So basically, if you're talking about me, you got to think for me. Because I haven't called you out. I haven't, you know... uh you're not relevant enough for me to focus and hone in or, you know, anything. There's not one YouTuber I've ever made a video like, oh, I don't like this YouTuber. Their platform's whack, blah, 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 whatever they got to say. Never, never. I actually use my platform to uplift my people. <laughs> I actually use it to instill confidence in my people. I actually use it to educate my people. That speaks to who I am as an individual. And at the end of the day, my confidence levels are very high. So when I look at certain situations, I feel like I'm above those things. And you can call it self-righteous. You can call it arrogant or whatever you want to call it. But basically, um, certain things are just not acceptable to me. And certain things just don't garner my attention. And that's just it. You know, I'm here for the premise of my people. I'm here uh, to be a beacon of hope and a beacon of light and an information source for them. Um, I'm not here for childish games and I'm not here for YouTube drama. Okay. Um, you can try to involve me, but I will not involve myself. You know, you can call out my name if that makes you feel good. You know, if that helps you get views on your channel, <laughs> I guess in a way, if you make a video about me, and that video is like your most viewed video. It's still about me. Even on your platform. <laughs> so anyway. Remember your priorities, guys. Okay? I certainly have not forgotten mine. I'll see you again very soon. Until we meet again, stay black and true. If you ain't black, just stay true.